that has big time camp What the movie will be the ultimate champ You might be finger crazy, my finger diseased But do you watch another child to find the best of this? We rate each movie in five categories, none of which are objective quality Stanton, Jack and Nick who watch it till it's finished Because the love for this movie can be the mission And maybe the film's plot has no rhythm or reason But that's a part of charm Cool as Brad is off the season It's low budget film that is most true They find a flick that most a boogaloo Kung Fu Electric Welcome back, my friends, to the Kung Fu Electric Boogaloo, the season finale. Season 9, if you show me yours, wraps up today. Oh, it's amazing that we finally reached it. But uh, but I'm your host, 8th Dan Stanadu, and I am so happy to be joined by my good friends. I got I got James Kata. I'm, I'm thrilled to be here for the season finale of, uh, yes, the season, of season, final. Nine. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> season 9. Of season 9. Yeah. What a season. Nine. Double digits on our season. I, I know. Sure. That's, Isn't that's that going to be crazy? Speaking of double digits, Nick Boxer. Greetings and salutations. Enhance your calm. Everything will be fine. Everything will be fine. All right, and uh, and now speaking of nothing is going to be fun, we've got Jack Hall. Yeah, and I'd just like to say uh, to you folks who who uh, watched the film, you're welcome. <laughs> sure, okay. And, and, a... and, and I'd like to say, fuck you for doing this. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> yeah. Your welcome and, may not be where I was going. And, <laughs> And Nick, I'd like to say, suck it up, Nancy. <laughs> <laughs> mm. uh, I well, said it going in, didn't I? Everything I said about this, I it did not over or undersell. <laughs> I said it all ahead of time that I was worried that this might be even too much for this podcast. It's it'll it'll be interesting. I I have no idea how to even score it yet. So I mean, it's, <laughs> the movie yeah. is gutter balls and. Uh, and and thankfully, it's not me, but it's Nick who has to explain it. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a bunch of, I think they're supposed to be teens hanging out in a bowling alley after hours. I don't know why it's necessary for it to be after hours, but it is. And one night after... A quite brutal, horrendous, and unnecessary for the film rape. Um, a series of murders take place, and that's all that happens. It's teenagers getting killed and a really ugly rape. Uh, it's time to point out it's a horror comedy. I would I say I really little... use like yeah. you know a clue on that one. I would I would say the the rape is integral to the story. Maybe not it one. Maybe it doesn't have to be twenty percent of the running time. Yeah, yeah that's that's probably. <laughs> yeah, I I because th- I I know I I got to the rape. I watched the rape. I did not enjoy the rape. And You're I not spent, supposed. To, I hope that, no. that 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 would be. Yeah, we'd and, be pausing the recording right now to have a t- conversation. <laughs> I think. No, no, and then I spent the next it. It was not until somebody got killed by the ball waxer oh, yeah. that um, <laughs> that I stopped being mad at this film. <laughs> I feel, given, given the movies we watch, I feel it important that we don't that the ball waxer isn't the name of the villain. Because <laughs> <laughs> the ball waxer sounds like it could be the bad guy in one of the movies we watch. Oh, it, it absolutely does sound like that for sure. Yes. Well, if somebody hasn't made that movie yet. I'm hoping <laughs> that is it's better that, if that, I uh, said ball polisher. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's a waxer. It's definitely a waxer. Yeah. 
that's uh, that is uh i think i think off the top i'd say that was the interesting thing for me is that there were some because of the setting of a bowling alley there are some very very creative uh deaths that i have not seen in anything else i've seen a lot of slasher movies no uh, but one of my a favorite lot of them i wasn't movies. able to judge the boogaloo because i was actively pissed at this movie <laughs> for subjecting me to that one scene <laughs> Yeah, it's it's seething. It's 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 incredibly like that scene is is so vile. Like the whole movie's vile. Like that's the, the like that's the one thing about gutter balls, right? Like this movie is vile and repugnant and completely um there without a single redeeming quality, but it's completely honest about it. Like that's the thing that I think lets it get away with it. It says it never lies to you. Like it says up front, we're gonna be this most the most out there, completely repugnant thing you can ever watch. <laughs> and then See, it does it. I understand that in like Last House on the Left, where you know there's some artistic merit to feeling sick for the entire movie. <laughs> this is a comedy. <laughs> it, in, in it, fairness, I did laugh at some of the stuff. Like the the, oh, the yeah. deaths. The de- I mean, oh. that's one of the things I love about the slasher genre is the like the more over the top and weird and creative the deaths are. Like that. That's where I get my giggles from teenagers. And yeah, all of these teenagers seem to be kind of pushing a thirty. Um, <laughs> oh, they're, yeah. like a, they're like a nine hundred two and off style teenager. Well, it's it's um, like the teenagers are too old and the old man is too young. <laughs> yeah, they keep calling him old yeah. man, and he's yeah. he's it's like, like he's same, he's. Hey. He's old enough to be their older brother. Like, yeah. he's- <laughs> I, I will say this. If you're trying to guess the killer, the chances are you're right for all the wrong reasons. <laughs> you've, you've probably picked it. Um, the- <laughs> yeah, it's – oh, man. That, that scene – it really is – like, that scene is – if it wasn't so vile, it would be so much easier to like the rest of the movie. There's no question. Like, if like they it, cut it's it so at the bowling long. pin, I think. Yeah, it, it's it just and and but it's so yeah because after that it's generally a lot of fun, but that scene is so like and as cart it's like incredibly cartoonish, yeah. so you're watching it going and and the facial expressions and stuff like that and the reaction and the acting and the reactions and so you're going at it going is he trying to make me laugh here because there's nothing funny about this, and and the the actor is playing it though plays it straight so everybody else is cartoonish and yet the person being raped thank god acts horrified and it's just like the worst thing it's just such a strange scene though i will give you give me this you're you're never forgetting it yeah (laughs) i think that's that's one of the weird things about the movie Uh, that's one of the strange things about the movie overall for me is it has really strange stakes um because like there is so before before the rape scene there is an altercation between it's supposed to be three teams who are in a bowling league, which is the, <laughs> and it's the weirdest grouping of people that would end up uh, in a bowling uh, league together. After hours bowling league, an after hours league. bowling league. And, well, and, I, I assume that's just so you don't have to populate the rest of the bowling alley. Like that's that's. I didn't think there was any other reason other than it's a like it's not a small bowling alley. It's about a twenty lane bowling alley, so yeah. you have to explain why the rest of it's empty. And that's that's pretty much the only. <laughs> I, I thought that was the simple. It's yeah. a bowling alley. <laughs> When was the last time you went to a bowling alley and it was full? Uh, last time I went to a bowling alley was three weeks ago, but it was not full, I'll be fair. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it wasn't completely empty. <laughs> it wasn't completely no. empty. That's the other thing. <laughs> this, on is, end. this is a big place. This well, is like a, <laughs> I think it's about 45 seconds in, though, that you go, whoa, uh, what have I gotten myself into? When there's yeah. the, the completely gratuitous, unnecessary – and graphic close up of a woman's uh, body body you know her 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 private area in a way that i've <laughs> never seen in any other main or like any <laughs> outside of pornography uh, yeah but so you got these three teams that are bowling and then two of them get, like one of them's this team of jocks and there's a uh, um there's a transgender individual on one of the other teams and the, so she and the, and they get it's into really a, a thing or so outcast here isn't it is it back yeah. last season yeah it's, i guess I don't, like know, it's, I don't know if jocks is the right thing like yeah like, he's, like he's dressed like i don't know what era this was supposed to take place in i think in the 80s but yeah i mean he's you got the 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 one guy with the sweater tied around his neck and stuff like that <laughs> it's you know 
So, so they get into this altercation, an incredibly violent altercation, where one of them just gets punched. Like he just gets he gets knocked out and just hit repeatedly in the face. His blood everywhere, and they're like threatening each other. And then as they're filing out, because the old man who's you know thirty five. Um, <laughs> <laughs> throws them. he kicks them all out he's been nice enough to ha- let them stay after hours they've had this big fight he's like if no, this I happens again this wasn't some- after oh. hours this was him closing this was just the end they were the last people in the lane that night no i think i think he mentions that it's after hours yeah, I, I thought it was after really? hours myself yeah but the, but that's that's this is what i'm getting at though is the weird stakes because he throws them all out for fighting he says he regrets that like letting them stay after hours see it tomorrow this better not happen again yeah and then they all <laughs> decide they're all coming back tomorrow well because they had to play the game because league, <laughs> league play is very important to these people yeah they're very they're very well, this is an important league uh wasn't there a hundred bucks on the line a hundred one one hundred cool ones yeah yeah a hundred big ones but like after after the like one of the government is punched to death he's like yo tomorrow we're gonna get together and solve this by bowling yeah <laughs> <laughs> like that's oh. it's like and then so we have the rape then we have like there and then everyone shows back up the next night excited the and, it, rape. and there's a whole including her and 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 her the rapers and everyone's back talking about the bowling game they're about to have it's this, like, it's this really jarring uh change of gears <laughs> throughout yeah. the film yeah <laughs> if if somebody was to pick it up right there and didn't watch the first part and just picked it up right there and saw that somebody for some reason was going through all this and you knew something had happened the night before, it, it, it'd be a completely different experience. Like, I, I, I think most people would be like, oh, this is fun. Because you don't have that kind of, uh, I don't know. It, it's like this pall over the rest of the film. It's true. It's, it's, I mean, the mood is lightened when you have very a very sudden switch to hardcore pornography. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't call it hardcore por- pornography because they're actually there's no actual like I, I'm pretty sure that was a prosthetic yeah that that the girl was working <laughs> on there there is a there was a a version made that did have hardcore inserts but only 69 <laughs> DVDs were made <laughs> and available on the on wow. the on the website at the time so <laughs> so yeah yeah it's it's. I mean, I assume that most of the most of the things I and most of the body parts I see in hardcore porn aren't real. Um, <laughs> That's probably pretty fair, really. You, 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 you can tell you can tell yourself whatever you want. Yes, <laughs> they're supposed that? to be that big. <laughs> who? Uh, so hey, who who amongst us is like is is the most versed in in bowling? <laughs> Which of the four of us can can speak to bowling? You would think it was the four of us that if if we were to participate in any sort of sport, <laughs> bowling would have required it, 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 it is true. Of. I mean, I go bowling about four times a year. That that's a lot. I mean, compared to the average person, that's probably four, like well, <laughs> in, infinity more four times, times actually. More. Um, <laughs> when, whenever I see a bowling alley, I go in just to check for pinball. That's nice. Uh, I'd not anymore. I won't be. Um, the, I, I uh, like to go in and see what video games they have. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, how long does a bowling game take? Because in this movie, about three hours. Yeah, for yeah, and for single, like well, between turns, basically. <laughs> well, people keep leaving. There's uh, somebody else scoring that they don't know about. That's the killer. <laughs> Every time he kills somebody, it shows up as a strike. Um, well, well, a strike with a skull and crossbones. Yeah, I, I mean that was the the thing for sure. Like, so so say an average bowling game might might take. Uh, I mean, if you have that many people, because they were supposed to be bowling three on <laughs> three. But, three on three. But the thing is, is that they, I believe they each had their own lane. Yeah, yes, they, they each had their own lane. So, well, so a three, nobody else is there. Yeah. So a three person game, my guess would be, if you were really seriously playing, about 45 minutes. Okay. Well, these people were not seriously playing. No, no. So but still, like, how, like, like the leader, the leader there of for the, about the, eight hours. Yeah. The yeah. leader of the prep, the prep guy who, 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 
orchestrated the rape and is the most vile character from then becomes the funniest, most almost likable character because he spends the rest of the movie with his foot crushed, asking people to get him a beer and nobody ever brings it to him. <laughs> well, they, they that, that's karma. Right try. That's, that's, that's just know, karma. But that's true. But I mean, sex gets in the way, right? So <laughs> yeah. And that, that actor, by the way, I think was reading off Mark's script. <laughs> it's an inside joke, but yeah, yeah. There, there's it has it does have that uh, that low budget improv thing where everyone says fuck way more times than that should be right. than if showed up in any script. Now, yeah. Oh my! Yes. <laughs> Correct me if if I'm wrong, but you don't normally hire hookers to go bowling. <laughs> <laughs> that was also a straight shot. That, that is that, that is uh, completely fair. Yeah, you I, but, well, hey. If I if I'm paid, we're gonna do what I want. <laughs> and you figure bowling, bowling. Oh, well, yeah. that that actually explains a lot. <laughs> yeah, that explains so much, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's like so. What did you do when you hired those hookers out there, Jack? Oh, I went bowling, of course. Anything else? Yeah. Just bowling. <laughs> Just bowling. A little time with the ball waxer, you know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, there is there is a point where one of the girls is gonna blow him like right there. Just, yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they they <laughs> it's, weren't. It's unclear if she doesn't this. even just start. Like they're not they're not actually they are not actually said to be hookers. They're just his. No, they're just friends. They're but just his girl. They girl. Like, really, one is his girl. Another one is yeah. his girl's friend who likes to participate in any sex she can at any time. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. If if, if deep uh, characters, very deep characters. Yeah. If they're open for for a threesome, then she's she's willing. Yep. That's what I got from that. Everybody's uh, everybody's boning in this movie. That's well, for sure. well, yeah. Like, if like, I don't think there was any single person who wasn't, except for maybe the the transgender the one and the old man. And the old man doesn't get any. That's no, not fair. No. <laughs> we don't know what he, the transgender person we're he doing was, before. He was nice enough to keep the bowling alley open late. Eh, open mm-hmm. late. That's, true. That's true. Even though he appears to hate all of them. <laughs> Yeah. Like with a fiery passion and the really after out. meeting them i understand why he hates all yeah of that's them. also fair yeah <laughs> and by the way i've looked it up and yes uh, a lot of the dialogue was improvised oh, Whoa. Yeah. It doesn't show it so it, it, like i say it literally had it had the most f-bombs in history oh my god does it have uh it <laughs> it swear net has beat it since then but swear net also not a scripted film uh, really, and so I mean, for a scripted film, it still would be Wolf of Wall Street. But for non-scripted, this is like nice. number three behind the the documentary on the word, and and, and <laughs> number two. That's amazing. Of, uh, yeah, and and because it the it's listed at uh, I think IMDb is listing at like four, and and um, the Wikipedia is listing at like five hundred something, and, <laughs> but it, its own website was listing at over six hundred. So wow. it, was, it was insane. A lot. That is, yeah. yeah. It's, a lot. it's a lot. Like I said, it's Mark's script. You ready to go to scoring? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's kind of handled the. It's interesting because afterwards, it it basically does become a fairly standard slasher movie. So yeah, yeah no, I like that. incredibly yeah. violent. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, but yeah. Which is great. Like to show up. He wants to show off his special effects abilities, yeah. obviously, you know. So, and and he does. The one that is uncomfortable is the way that he kills the transgender person. That is that is for every man who's ever existed, an uncomfortable. <laughs> Ooh, watch. Man, now that right there, that was. But so... you know, it's fake. But yeah, it I really looks real. I, I'd watched, yeah, I'd watched a, another slasher movie the day before this, and I thought like that's that's the first that's the first time in a while I've had to look away from a screen, and then a day later. Um, I had to look away from the screen watching this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she got to that death, and I'm like, oh, that's... And then I look back, and I'm like, oh, it's still happening. Okay, that's... <laughs> look back, <laughs> oh, this scene's long. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's the sustained level. That's what's uh, that's what's harsh. <laughs> All right, we're doing the thing? Uh, we're yeah, doing yeah, yeah, All sure, right, explain sure, it. let's do that. Yeah. Uh, in our search for the ultimate B movie, we rate, we rate each film in five categories. None of those categories are objective quality. The first category we call schlock appeal, and we start with Stan. This possibly has some objectionable quality, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> but um, wow, yeah. I, like the thing that actually kind of got me is is as I was watching it because I knew that Jack brought it. 
and 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 after you get to the rape scene and, and about 12 or 15 minutes into the rape scene i was just like wow <laughs> how did jack even f- continue watching this movie because this is oh like, i fast forwarded like, through the rape scene for the first time like okay. i like uh, this time i watched the way all the way through but the first time i was like oh my god fast forward fast forward hoping <laughs> that it would get more entertaining so yeah it does yeah it, it absolutely does like it's it's a good it's a afterwards it's a good solid you know cheesy horror movie oh but you know everything just is like when they do something and they go too far i love it when they go too far with the uh with the horror parts the swearing was too far and that was a little bit too much and of course the rape was too far and so that was too much but uh, like i mean what what rape isn't too far ultimately but uh so so yeah it's it's a tough one to score i think just uh, overall i'm gonna give it a six yeah um yeah this is the one uh, the type of movie that you know it, it definitely has schlock appeal because if you're talking about it and you know if you're one of us you're gonna listening to that conversation and go, ooh, I got to see that. However, if the person knows you and knows you're listening, they will immediately stop the conversation and slap you and say, no, you don't need to do that. Um, don't. It's not a good idea. Um, so I, I, it probably deserves an eight, but I'm giving it that minus two. I'm calling it the common sense modifier. Just... <laughs> <laughs> backing it off a little bit yeah so six is my final score all your all your logic is strong i mean again i said if people you want to start this thing about uh right after the rape so maybe an hour in um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I i actually think the rape scene actually i do believe is eight minutes i think was the the, the length of time that it actually came out to wow which is just an insanely long time to be go- right. experiencing and seeing that yeah it's a 96 um, minute movie just give that context of yeah, it's yeah. 10 of the film yeah 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 it's crazy um so i mean yeah if you don't want to see the thing is it is though i mean you don't see a lot of films with this level of schlock this level of bad acting uh you know bad acting to the point where it's almost good and funny um, like it's just, it's just this much grime. Like it's got so much slot more than we usually have. I also was going to give it a minus for the, for the rape though. I was only giving it a minus one, uh, for the rape, which leaves me at an eight. Uh, it's the bowling bag killer, uh, BBK. <laughs> yeah. So I, yeah, who eight, would eight, 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 that? eight's the lowest I can go to. <laughs> the bowling bag, it's the bowling bag killer like, and and people need to see the visual of the, oh yeah the yeah check bag. the show notes because yeah it's uh it is uh it's it's the killer it has a bowling and it took me and honestly it's an upside it down me, bowling bag too it, yeah took, I know. Longer, it took longer than i feel comfortable telling anyone <laughs> that for me to figure out that that's what it was that was on his head was a bowling bag bowling ball bag I actually um, didn't realize until you just told me right now. I just <laughs> like I, I knew it was something to do with funny. bowling, but it was kind of like yeah. uh, I don't know what that is. And uh, I mean, in fairness, I didn't actually care enough to try to find out what it was. <laughs> You're looking at it, they're going, "Well, it's something." Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah sometimes but I, I believe they do right call right? him the bowling bag killer by the end. Yeah, do, buddy. Yeah. yeah, but the audio was so terrible that I probably that I think I missed it. More, more of the movies of heel right there. So. <laughs> yeah, you're just you're just adding points the way. Um, <laughs> so, our, our next category is called more hearth than budget and the reported budget in this case two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Oh, two hundred fifty. Two hundred fifty. That I mean, I mean, given that that their entire set is a bowling alley, and um, that's you know you just you just get yourself a bowling alley and uh and you're off to the races those people and given the fact that i'm pretty damn sure they didn't pay for anybody for the soundtrack no or or yeah <laughs> yeah that's for damn sure because because who <laughs> which canadian artist of, of that ilk wants their music cranked over that rape scene is what i want to know like who who watched they, that they just and bought said, like a like a a true north uh, mixtape or something to uh, <laughs> yeah. oh yeah who who's on the soundtrack Stan uh, I mean, who knows there if anyone if any of right, our know the eighties rock you got or, or Overdrive you got Lover Boy you got April Wine Chilliwack that's the one who had the song in the in the rape scene um, 
those uh, those are the big ones off the top of my trooper, head on the version we saw. Don't forget There's a trooper. different version with different music, and I don't know if this was the version with them. With uh, I, I imagine this is the version that that uh, has the music that's not that's that's not like the, the original before they replace it. Because yeah. yeah, I mean, again, I mean, if anybody who's like if you're Chilliwack, who's a who's a <laughs> yeah. you know a respectable and, and, band. And, yeah, respectable Canadian seventies, eighties rock band who had a, a, a lot of hits. I'm, you know, um, if you're, if you know that that's going on in your song. Uh, by the way, the particular songs they chose for that scene too, I think it's called Baby Blue. Like yeah, the yeah. slot, like in in context. Um, yeah, like so. Anyways, yes. Yeah, there's but there's nothing but these are these are bands that were big enough to generally like BTO and stuff like that, April wind up crossover hits into America, right? Like it's not Honey, just honeymoon sweet, honeymoon sweet. Honeymoon like sweet another one. Yeah. And, 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 and everybody knows, there. everybody knows raise a little hell. Yeah. I troopers on there. That's right. Trooper has a couple songs on there. Raise a little hell. Yeah. And lover boy obviously had, you know, I and mean, working for the weekend is, yeah. is in there. And yeah. Like, so the cost that it would have cost, you know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That would that would no have way. easily eaten up their entire budget. And either more. that, or, or the Canadians so. are even nicer than anybody knows, and they're just like, "Yeah, please yeah. use our song." That seems highly unlikely. Ultimately, I mean, but uh, but sure, uh, you know, because but everything else feels like they got it for free. You know, like the acting, the bowling alley. I have no problem believing that they got that stuff for free. Um, oh, the, the the special effects is where the money went. The, obviously, oh, oh, absolutely, and the special yeah. effects are fantastic. They are they are totally worth the money. Um, I you know I have a hard time with this one ultimately because because it's just yeah I mean yes I think that they truly did want to make this movie which seems a little bit odd to me but um, I'm going to give it a seven. Do you, think, do you think this was shot on film or digitally? I think digital. Uh, yeah, digital makes sense. Again, when you have, when when all you're trying to do is put it into uh, special effects, then I, I it was clean. And this, uh, what year was this? Two thousand eight. Two thousand eight digital. Released, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, it would have to be digital then. I think it was two thousand eight. It was two thousand eight. Correct. Yes. Because I, it yeah. feels like I've been hearing about this movie for like ever, but obviously two thousand eight. That's only. That's only nine, yeah. year, uh, ten years, <laughs> eleven years. <laughs> keep, keep <trying. laughs> Eventually, you'll get it right. We, price is right rules. Closest without going over. <laughs> <laughs> Seven, you say. Yes. Nick, what do you say? Oh yeah, I. You know what? They made a movie, uh, so that's five. They didn't do it with a lot. That's six. It's a disgusting piece of trash. That's eight. That's nine. I don't know if that's a plus or minus. I'll, I'll go with the seven. It's. Uh, I also will go with a seven, but I am taking uh, that minus that I put in the last one. I'm putting that across probably everything in this because that you've seen is so disgusting. So I'm going to go with the six. Uh, disgusting piece of trash is like a plus five to me. So I'm going to go with the nine. I'm going to go with the nine. I. I this is this is old like this is like in the tradition of basket case and oh yeah and sleepaway camp like i mean there's, there's a lot of movies you don't make these in the 21st century yeah like i i did i did think about like you know we we use i i love using the phrase it was a different time and uh you know 2008 is not one that i can use it was a different time for <laughs> <laughs> It's, and yet, it feels like it. It feels like it should be twenty years older than it is. Um, but I guess that would be the inspiration of the director, though. Like, yes, yeah. he very much wanted. Uh, uh, I, I I get the feeling he very much wanted that kind of like super over the top. I it's something that would show off his. Like he went into special effects more than he went into directing. So like, yeah, yeah, it's he's, really he's it's a, a lot film. of special. Like he yeah. worked on a lot of special effects films. You know, over yeah, the course of. And it, this is a tremendous sure. sizzle reel feel. Uh, this is a, a tremendous sizzle reel if you're gonna if that's your your chosen field. Yeah. Um, like just just cut up like ten minutes of this movie and you know you get hired on any horror movie going. Um, so nine for me. Uh, and uh, you know, uh, Jack, tell your mom I'm gonna be late tonight. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, what the fuck moments, Stan. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess if. Um... Like it, it, 
it certainly has them. It's 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 kind of ah, uh, I mean, it's it's a slasher movie, so I I anticipate a certain uh, number of what the fuck moments. I think the one part that I really truly uh, found completely what the fuck was the uh, <laughs> was the ball waxer <laughs> and <laughs> when it started talking. <laughs> oh my god, the dialogue for the ball waxer is amazing. That oh, right that's there. in my memorable moments. Yeah, I mean, and that is totally <laughs> that is totally fair. But the first moment of hearing that, and it was just like you think to yourself, "Oh, okay, it, the ball waxer's talking." That's that's kind of weird. And then you actually realize that the ball waxer is having a conversation, essentially oh, with generally him. insulting and, insulting the guy. My favorite is yeah. when when he looks at the wax; it's hot, and on the ball. He touches it. It goes. It says, "Don't touch the hot wax." And he goes, "Ow!" And, he, and then the ball wax. He goes, "Dumbass." Yeah. That was. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> oh. So I mean, I mean that stuff. Like that was. I thought that was funny as hell, and and but completely, like completely weird and 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 almost out of context for the moment. But then the second time you see it, I mean, it's it's wonderful. And, you know, so much of the other stuff, like they're using these things in the bowling alley that are good. The, the costuming is a tad, what the fuck. Like, the fact that these people were actually friends, I think is what the fuck. Like, you've got the one guy who's like the, I think... I mean, I mean, he obviously looked like the heavy metal guy, but he didn't actually act like the heavy metal guy. No. <laughs> and then you've got the people dressed in their, like, 80s costumes, and of course the preps on the other side and that kind of thing. And then the, the transsexual, and it's just like, I don't actually see how any of these people would ever be friends and hang out together, so that's what the fuck. <laughs> what but, bullet Lee and that's slup for a game. And, and, and that they bowl. bowling, it brings people together. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, this mu- it, like the whole concept of this story must have been the fact that he was able to get access to the Excalibur Bowling Alley in Surrey, BC, and and from there built the story around it to to, to show off his uh, special effects skills. So I will give it a seven. Uh, w, I think the most important thing is the obvious kill did not take place nobody gets killed by an actual bowling ball i i thought that was on that's a good point i never realized that until now i mean every conceivable bowling object is used but the most obvious one never takes place i was waiting for it i couldn't wait i i thought the pen when they went back to face the pin setter somebody would get sent up and their head would be like in the pin thing and it would be funny, but it didn't happen. Um, no, definitely that this has like quite a lot of, uh, WTFs. Um, the pop sound during the rape was particularly, uh, <laughs> I can't believe they did that. Um, yeah, I'm going to go with that's, an eight. That's, that is as soon as you reminded me of that, yeah, that's that's a choice. I don't believe that sound would be made. In fact, all the sounds that are made during that rape seem oh, a little. Oh. And, and they are. There is a lot of random noises that go on there. Like I'll, I'll yeah. give you yeah. credit for that. Pretty, yeah. pretty damn squishy. Yeah. is what I'm <laughs> oh, saying. Yeah. Oh God. <laughs> yeah, there's, uh... <laughs> there's some stuff. Yeah. <laughs> But oh, you guys man. knew as soon as I said pop sound, what the hell oh, I was yeah. talking about. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's yeah. no question about it. They could have used it on the mangina. Oh, yeah. And, and you know, the, the, the simply the inclusion of, of, the, of the transsexual character is, is WTF. It's like the epitome of it. But my favorite WTF is just, is just the, the, the entire the ending five minutes where it's like, hey, you know what would be good? A twist ending. Hey, you know what nobody else see coming after that? A twist ending. <laughs> hey, I got it. Hey, we got two twist endings. So never expect three or four more twist endings. And they yeah. just highly on these twist endings. The, 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 ki- the, ki- the killer being like having See, that no many people no, in no, on this. Spoiler I still alert. don't know. Why, why was the black guy in on it? Like oh. he just knew? Well, no, because he, he wasn't black. 
<laughs> well, he, he had. Yeah, he was. Yeah. Oh, he, he, oh no, that he, guy. He, oh, that he, guy. He, he had an Afro he, pick. Yeah. I was yep. thinking the yeah. yeah the one with the Afro, but I was thinking the other the other guy yeah. who was in on it. Okay. Yeah, like, yes. well, that's, that's like why I said, was, said if it, like when I say that they I mean, like half the cast was in on it, so they, they end up, <laughs> well, like I said, this is where it gets confusing because there is four hundred twist endings in the last five minutes. <laughs> it is, there's oh. more, there's more Which than five. Give me an <laughs> All right. Uh, there are a couple of of, uh, of really, I mean, all of the things we've mentioned, but also like that sound effect when uh, someone gets a uh, someone later in the film gets uh stabbed in the rear end with uh with a sharp object and then it's turned and there's this squishy sound <laughs> it's, it, it, they make it they make it they take the the bowling pill and, and sharpen it yep. yeah and it's a uh, it makes this nice of them moist sound that yeah. is really disturbing <laughs> um, there's there's a great bit where where one of the where the the transgender character is in the is in a bathroom and she hears a noise in the stalls, but the stalls are both locked. And so she's crouching down to look under the door, but she's had to do the entire scene crouching because she's clearly tall enough to just look over the top mm-hmm. of the, like, the door is like a- about five ten, and she could just like stand up right. Oh, yeah. She's the biggest person <laughs> in the whole movie. She's like yeah, six, she's eight. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so she has to crouch to, to like try to hide the fact that she should just be able to look right into the, the stall. <laughs> Oh, uh, before she's brutally murdered. Um, <laughs> we do mean brutally. And then we we get to the without giving too much detail. I, I won't tell you which half of the cast is responsible for the deaths. Um, but but there's a bit where Lisa, the girl who has been assaulted at the beginning of this film, shows up in a bowling shirt and for no reason that's explained her underwear. She has no pants on for that whole scene, and I have no idea why. Yeah, yeah, I don't either. <laughs> I mean, there is also the part that she is shown, like we say, with the graphic close-up of her uh, of her lady parts in the first uh, forty-five seconds of the film, and which is the WTF. Underwear and then in, when, the... <laughs> in the rape scene, they have to pull her underwear off. I didn't get that. <laughs> oh, that that continuity is uh, it's really. It's well, really <laughs> I'm going up to a nine on this. There's there's a lot of uh, it's it's the the like the kills are out there. There, like I said, I've seen a lot of movies in this genre, and it was still a lot of brand new stuff. To me uh memorable moments um yeah i I mean as as mentioned earlier there's no chance that you're ever going to forget the rape scene so i think that memorable uh, but in a in a negative way yeah yeah that's that's not (laughs) a positive uh for sure and and i'm never going to forget the swearing and just the the sheer volume uh or like of swears in this movie because it's just like wow do you know any other words <laughs> this was the question but, uh... for me that's a positive i i was laughing and thinking that was great because it just got so ridiculous it went it would it was to the point where it was annoying and then after it went to annoying it went to awesome because it just got so it was again just that over the topness that everything is um yeah uh, i mean there's there's like some of the some of the kills absolutely are are like the kind of things that, like, when the when the guy gets his face stuck in the ball waxer and it and he pulls back and his face is completely gone and <laughs> caved in, like, like that's burned into my mind right now. And and it's really good work, really good. Um, there's other things, other elements that are going to be burned in there for sure. Um, I probably won't necessarily remember the the movie as a whole, other than like kind of that sick feeling of like, okay. I like some of it, didn't like some of it, but 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 yeah, I'm not going to forget certain elements for sure, so I'm going to give it a six. I think it deserves a nine, but right after this podcast, I'm taking a toothbrush to my brain to <laughs> try to forget some of it, so that's a minus three. I don't think it'll come completely scrubbed out, but uh, I'm going to forget as much of this film as possible, six. Yeah, I'm also giving it the nine, but again with the minus one that is to my modifier and all of these. <laughs> <laughs> so that I'll leave it at an eight because, like, like honestly, for years since I mean it's been probably 2009 that I saw it. So I mean I never forgot obviously the rape, but also never forgot the ball waxing both of them, both the ball waxer and the dialogue and how awesome that is. Even though it made me laugh again, even but I never forgot how awesome that was. And also that ball waxer kill to me is the the best kill in the movie, and I just never forgot it. It's awesome. It also goes on way too long, like all the kills do. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. One other thing, the kills go on to everything's in in, in just excess. So I have an eight on this. 
the, the heavy metal guys girl didn't didn't go on too long. Mm. I thought that one was appropriately uh, of length. Uh, uh, yeah, that was a normal length kill. <laughs> the uh, yeah, we didn't even mention the sex scene kill. Um, that like it's, no, I mean, that's always God. that's always what sticks with me in these films is the is the kills. Like I I'm actually gonna I'll forget pretty much all of the setup except i'll remember like how some of the kills happen that's yeah. that's how what we'll come back how to you, me, so. yeah the sex scene though with, like we say pretty sure it's prosthetic but you're just I've not have never to seen, seen that, that yeah that level uh, of you know yeah. graphic oh, yeah, yeah for sure and then the yeah. kill like that and both of them dying like that basically one guy let's uh, i'll say one guy dies by being suffocated because the woman who is they're performing the 69 she dies and then her weight of her vagina on his mouth causes him to well, no the, the killer it was yeah, pushed. He, the killer just pushes it. down on both ends yeah. of her. Yeah, basically. yeah, and, yeah. Uh, so she he dies by vagina. She two literally one, two <laughs> birds, one stone. Two birds, one stone. Uh, by, or, but, two by stones, one bird. suffocation. That's actually how I like to go. Now that I realize it. Yeah, that's. <laughs> 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 If you get to choose, I mean, that's that's why that's why you bring the hookers to the bowling. I'm going back to games. a. I'm going to a nine, and that's still with a minus one. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm going to. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna land on an eight in the end. Uh, crazy concept. Well, it's it's interesting because through the whole movie. I I just kept kind of flashing back to uh, sorority babes in the slime ball bowl orama because a lot of it just even the, even though they're they're a little bit different taking place in the bowling alley in like similar eighties style uh, clothing and theme that kind of thing so so there was a lot of stuff where I was just like this feels a lot like that and and it's just like is this gonna happen and. So, so I'm not I'm not going too high. I mean, the, certainly adding the rape that was absolutely uh, they didn't do that in the sorority <laughs> slime ball bowl or Atma, but uh, um, yeah. So uh, and it's a bowling alley, and they killed people using you know bowling things. So I'm just gonna go with a f- four. Yeah, no, I'm thinking the same way. This is definitely a genre of film, you know. You pick a place. This time it's a bowling alley. You get some uh, queens and uh, teens in uh, quotation marks. And you kill them <laughs> interestingly. Uh, so, yeah, four is the appropriate number. It is right. And I dare you guys to pick anything else. <laughs> yeah, I'm going, I, am, I am going at it from a completely different point of view. And that I'm going at it from not from the setting and the kills and this and that, like you guys are, I'm going at it from the, the idea that you thought you could get away with this and do this in the 21st century. And people would think it's okay. That's the crazy concept. Like if you look at it from the idea that you actually brought this thing to the ratings board and they told you to get an R rating, you'd have to cut 19 minutes of a 96 <laughs> minute film and you bothered to go. That to That's me awesome. shows what a crazy concept this is. Uh, you know, that, that to me is just the idea that you would go there at all with most of these kills and this far and, and think that, yeah, that, that people wouldn't get upset. Or maybe he thought people would get upset, but he tried to get it into the theaters. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I have, I have an eight minus one for a seven. <laughs> Yeah, that does make a strange, like, yeah, like, because it's, it's got that drive in feel, VHS era, and yet it just it goes so far. Um, and it goes farther than trauma movies. Yeah. And uh, I mean, strangely, as you know, you say you can, you, that, uh, you know, you can't get away with it, but there's a sequel that's, uh, that's, you know, ready to go. So, well, we, <laughs> unfortunately, Ryan Nicholson passed away two weeks ago. Yeah, uh, I, re- I read that. Yeah, the direct- yeah. director is a Canadian, uh, uh, as well as the music. Uh, uh, yeah, he passed away qu- uh, after an illness and uh, yeah, brain cancer and, uh, two weeks ago, October eighth. So we'll likely never see that that sequel. Yeah, I don't. I as far as I know, it was filmed. So we'll see because it was it was fundraised. Filmed on it in twenty fifteen. Yeah, yeah it's been it was Kickstarter filmed. or something. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I, I I would not hold my breath, which is a shame. But yeah, bring only forty seven years old. Well, well, that's a pity. Uh, yeah, I didn't want to bring that up before in in more heart than budget because I thought it might uh, it might color the yeah. the numbers. Uh, 
All right, so that brings us to the end of the balloting, and we every season we have six secret modifiers. This film does get two of them. It does just barely tick over 95 minutes at 96 minutes <laughs> uh, for a minus one on that. Uh, it gets a plus one for for being uh, a, a director we haven't seen before, considering he's only done like he only did five movies or something like that. So that has more ratings on IMDb than. Uh, than what we have, what what by was a our huge margin? Yeah, by a huge yeah. margin. Uh, Five hundred was the cutoff, and this has nearly three thousand. Wow. Uh, yeah, it's a, yeah, it has it has a following. Canadians are sure. loyal. It ha- it definitely has a following. I mean, that's 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 more the. I mean, you know, I'm often used to seeing this kind of movie having as many ratings it has as it has cast members. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so that ends up this movie at a very, very respectable 70 out of 100, uh, which puts it right between Preppies and Space Mutiny. And our list is starting to be really weird. Yeah. It, <laughs> oh, yeah. It fits well with Preppies, I think. I think so. <laughs> it is starting to. Uh, is it the, the highest rated, rated of the, is it the highest rated of the season then or uh i think it just i think it just squeezed by because i think 60 we had a 68 with two 68s and a 70 um so yeah well interesting that's interesting i mean i can't you, wait for the next season though because we're going to be picking some boogaloo classics i'm positive oh god there's going to be some boogaloo for sure coming up <laughs> coming up next season yes. so we have the uh, i guess is it time for business first and it's then the generator or what business and then pleasure yeah <laughs> you gotta have the business before the pleasure <laughs> it's the business and pleasure Did, what uh, what canadian band had that as an album name oh that's helix right there you bet it is <laughs> They would have been great in the soundtrack. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Until <laughs> until somebody told them, in which case then it would be. Uh, yeah, like every like everybody else. Yeah. Like how ballsy again, crazy concept to think that you can get away with putting on some of the most famous songs in the history of Canadian rock and no <laughs> and not pay for it. That you could get away with it. And that it even got to DVD or to yeah to DVD like that Blu-ray. Oh DVD. my god! Really? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's insane. Well, we saw that it, is right? totally it's insane. Balls. Just, yeah. just balls. That's balls. The, that's balls. It's balls of of whatever bowling balls are made of. Gutters. <laughs> oh, well, there was lots of gutters involved in this movie. Um, uh, balls that went in the gutters, mines that went in the gutters. So yeah, it's like no, lots of stuff. I like can't that. believe that they, most of these cast members went. Yeah, I'm okay with doing this. Most of them didn't just say, "I, I no." Oh, they were probably just happy enough to be in a movie. Yeah, that's probably true. Yeah, I mean, I mean, until Arrow started, I mean, all these all these folks have worked on like eight episodes of Arrow each. Um, <laughs> of Arrow and Supergirl. Um, <laughs> again, that's going to be a very strange resume. I did gutter balls, and then I was, uh, then I did a speaking role on Flash. <laughs> uh, <laughs> It was just Smallville gutter balls flash. Wait, that was my the career. One, the, the hooker that was killed in the bathroom doing the sixty nine. Isn't she Supergirl? <laughs> no, from wrong. She's, she's not. Don't spread rumors about the the amazing <laughs> Melissa ben- Benoist. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's let's, uh, let's do the business. Let's do, the, do, the, do, let's let's yeah. do the business. Give it the business and wrap things up. <laughs> All right, uh, we are on instagram at kung fu electric boogaloo and we are sponsored by we talk podcasts and we talk podcast.com is the home of the octagon which is the ongoing record of our search for the ultimate b movie sortable by each category uh not sortable by objective quality uh and uh also we talk podcasts has a facebook and a twitter and you should subscribe to the show on whatever your favorite podcast app is or youtube All right. or on the or on their website or on their website, can you, you can just or RSS or whatever. I never, I, mean, I never, <laughs> never, of, I never. Tons of ways on their website. I never RSS. once worked out an RSS in my entire life. Well, you have to hit the <laughs> button that says subscribe. So it's pretty hard. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know what happens after that. Like I don't. Oh. <laughs> like I've done that part, but then like nothing happens. <laughs> like, it's oh. the next thing. Like it feels like there should be something happens after that. <laughs> you should it's, get an email. It's, it's all <laughs> it's all good. This is, this seems way too granular for this moment. Yeah, let's 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 get to. I didn't even ask all the polling questions I had. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Speaking, gran- granular is our new thing. That's that's. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Did anybody else ever say even spare? I think all the only thing that they knew about bowling was a strike. <laughs> Just strikes. That's a yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. All right. Well, that <laughs> that wraps up season nine blissfully, and um, now it is time to get into season ten, where we can ask ourselves if we believe in magic. Do you believe in magic, fellows? I do. So, all right. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that, that's a good. Uh, yeah. yeah. If uh, if I if I have trouble, I, I I didn't make that long a list of movies. So, uh, well, uh, no, me either. Me at, either. At the end, so of many. Season, I just assumed there wouldn't be any any crossover. At the end of season ten, we'll see if we believe in magic or if we believe in something completely different. <laughs> all right, uh, fire up the Jiminator, Jiminator, Jiminator. All right. And Jiminator, Jimmerator, whatever the hell you want to say. <laughs> and fingers crossed, fingers crossed. I don't know what I want, but <laughs> I mean, I'm totally okay going first, given that uh, that you know I the I kept the movie that uh, that inspired. <laughs> I, I feel like I feel like if Stan goes first, then he's gonna he's then he's gonna pick something, and we're all gonna be like, "Was that the topic we're supposed to be?" <laughs> <laughs> I I think I misunderstood the theme. No, uh, I, do not do not mess with the the uh, the the Jimmerator. It's the the. I am, I I would never I I would never uh, that the integrity of the Jimmerator is yeah. vital to uh, Kung Fu Electric Boogaloo. Yeah. God. Yes. Damn and, it, Jim! And, Press that button. I, I, I did already. <laughs> uh, it's it's Jack. Jack starting us off. Oh, I am. Well, I'm 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 happy to start you off with this. A murderer with the help of Chinese vampires does battle with the ghost of a dead gambling lord's wife and the gambling lord's living brother. Uh, in a movie, I really hope we can find because I can say that about both of my movies. Awesome. Ninja, the violent sorcerer. Okay. Wow. What did, did I do it wrong? Ninja the violent. Oh, I'm just. I'm, I've got a type, so all the other guys can react. <laughs> I, 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 don't, I don't. I don't know what to say. You got a type. So really someone's keeping I, track. I, of I, you know, I was really you know to hoping for a rape-free season <laughs> from that description <laughs> and no other information. I think well, I'm out of luck. Dude, I don't know if you've been paying attention. We haven't had a rape sea free season yet. <laughs> yeah, that's actually a pretty it's, good point. Pretty good point yeah, right tra- there. It's, it's just not that kind of show. Yeah. So, uh, Stan, what, what is it that you're just amazed by? The, the, the title, the description, the fact that you never heard of it? <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, it's, it's all of those. It's, it's a great way to start, quite frankly. It's, it sounds uh, completely balls out nutty. Yeah, the legendary Godfrey Ho. Yeah, well, that's, I mean, I'm, I'm down. I'm down. All right. So, Jack, Nick, Stan, and <laughs> got, got a lot of business to take care of here. Oh, yeah. So I, I, should, I should have really uh, done more prep. All right. Jim or eight. <laughs> <laughs> it's taking a long time. To... All right. Stan. Okay. So, uh, the movie, the movie that inspired the whole thing, caught some of it on TV. It was only about ten minutes that I saw, and it was, it just seems so terribly done. It actually has pretty good reviews on IMDb, but the the names attached to it, the special effects looked crazy bad. So I don't care. We're gonna do it. It's called Cast a Deadly Spell. Oh, oh, seen it. Oh, yeah. This is. This is going to be an interesting one in Boogaloo Land. All right. Yeah, I believe that's I believe that's the original. And there's also a sequel. That's, yeah, is that the, the one with the, Fred? Uh, the Cast a Deadly Spell has Fred Ward, Fred Ward and Julianne Moore, directed by Martin Campbell, produced by Gail Ann Hurd. So I mean, it's it's like crazy. Oh, and Clancy Brown. You know, oh wow. Yeah, and and the sequel right. is actually the role gets taken because it's based on a novel. Yeah. The sequel the role is taken over by Dennis uh, Hopper. And it's opera, yeah, <laughs> and that and that's probably the more boogaloo of the two, but they're both good films. Yeah, so w- it, Witch Hunt, it, yeah, is the sequel. Yeah, that one's uh, available. Uh, uh, you know, it's an HBO film, so uh, yeah, that's you know, right. If you, if you have the access to HBO, 
uh, product. You can anybody can easily see that. Yeah, but but while like watching it for a, like a few minutes here and there, man, that there, it really showed off as Boogaloo. So it'll be interesting well, to watch it as a whole. It's it's a really good film. I'll be really interested to see how I see it as a Boogaloo film, which is of course not how I watched it. Which actually comes back to my season. We're doing it by accident. You didn't know. You didn't know it was Boogaloo. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, Jim Reed. Oh, it is Dick. All righty. You know what? I'm going back to the, my childhood once again with a movie I was absolutely disappointed at the time. And I hope time has been kind to this sucker. We're going back to 1991 in more ways than one with Beastmaster 2 Portal Through Time. <laughs> Is that a made for TV movie? No. Okay. That was a theatrical one. The third in this Beastmaster series <laughs> is the made-for-TV movie. Yeah, I knew they started nice. doing some made-for-TV movie at some point. Now, I'd like to say 1991, and you're back to your childhood. Weren't you about 47 then? <laughs> sure. <laughs> it's the second childhood, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, it's it's my turn. Uh, I picked a movie that uh, – it's, it's a different definition of magic. Uh, I thought it was magical that uh, that – there's a group of people on a beach and and there's a monster <laughs> under the sand. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> you cannot be serious. That's that's Stan, that's Stan's fault. He encouraged me to to, to say the sand would be in the season. Uh, no, matter okay. the, no matter what the topic. Um, <laughs> okay, okay, that's a good joke. The actual one, one the ag- the actual film is I couldn't imagine a, a better follow-up to Beastmaster 2 Portal Through Time than Deathstalker yes! 2. Uh, Thank by you Jim, so much. Jim Wynorski. Oh. It, 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 uh, it, is on, it is on Tubi. It is uh, eight, 85 minutes. I'm, I'm, I believe it's I'm also excited. Amazon Prime. Oh, yeah, I, I think so. Yeah, I think yeah. it's a very accessible film, but it is uh, it does have an evil sorcerer. It has a, a magic duplicate uh, of a princess. Uh, Sorcerer's Goons. So we get uh, Beastmaster 2, then Deathstalker 2. I'm so happy about that because that was one of right, my choices format. for sure. No Jim Raider, snake format so I can go last. <laughs> 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 like I did last year. Whatever the Jim Raider In fact, are we in the exact order we were last year? <laughs> There's only so many combinations. Strangely, I am next. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you, may, you may end up with this luckily. Ah. Oh. And 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 I I honestly have I've struggled with what the second movie was. Death Stalker was fast, but uh, I, I decided to go with uh, Raphael Zelinsky's Spellcaster, starring Adam Ant. Oh mm. wow, Raphael nice. Zelinsky back nice. again. That's great. Uh, it's a 1988 film uh, starring Adam Ant and uh, and a whole bunch of people you will never have seen before. So. <laughs> you had me at Adam Ant. Yes. Yeah. Well, of course. Yeah, actually, you had uh, me at Raffle Zelinsky, but a group of of people are killed one by one while participating in a million dollar treasure hunt in a mysterious Italian castle. Oh, where's the magic? Uh, it's called Spellcaster because there is like lots oh, of magic. Oh, ah, good point. His, the, the tag on the poster is his magic is evil, his spell is deadly, his power complete. <laughs> that's a good. That's a good one. I, I mean, I can't guarantee how much magic, but that's what the poster told me. There's magic, so. <laughs> All right. That's actually how both of mine are. Uh, I I look them up to go. Yes, there is magic. I will be able to justify it. All right. Uh, next up is Stan. Okay, well, this one, in this case, uh, Deathstalker 2 was probably going to be my my choice, but I am glad that you chose it, because um, as much as I know that there's certain parts of it that are not going to, s- to score well, um, it feels like a perfect movie to get dumped into a season like this, even though it could be very painful to watch. <laughs> I wanted to, I'm going for Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, fuck. I was so hoping you were going to say Masters of the Universe. <laughs> I was so hoping. Are we talking the which version are we talking about? 2000? 2000, yeah. With, with Jeremy uh, Irons. Jeremy Irons, ah, yes. Oh, the Tom Hanks one would not be. <laughs> that's, that's, that's Mazes and Monsters, yeah. Mazes and Monsters, yeah. So, yeah, Dungeons, <laughs> Dungeons and Dragons. Dragons. Uh, two, year 2000 version. Because I think there is like a, there's an animator or something other than that. 
Yeah, well, actually, there's two sequels to uh, to Dungeons oh, and Dragons, which and make no doubt the third film, The Book of Vile Darkness, uh, with direct to DVD. You know that that sounded like a contender to me. But... <laughs> well, I, I thought that those were uh, Yui Bull, but I guess that's Dragon Siege. I'm getting it confused. <laughs> Ask Nick. He's the uh, he's the Yui Pole master. Dungeon Siege. Oh, Dungeon no. Siege. You say. All right. Yeah. Good enough. All right. We're we're close to the end. You can't here. siege a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how you siege a dungeon, quite yeah. frankly. But uh... all right, come on. Man, the gym raider is really slow today. It's just, just give me ones and fours. Uh, <laughs> uh, two. So it is. It is Nick. J- Jack gets to go last. Oh, oh yeah, just, the generator has spoken, um, Nick. All right, I was thinking about last year, and we were watching some. We watched Halloween Six, and it got me thinking. I don't know enough about Druid, Druids. What is a movie? <laughs> that is the takeaway from that movie. That will <laughs> teach me about Druids. Uh-huh. And the I answer know where is Warlock Two. Oh no! I said you're not. You didn't go. I thought you were going to go terror for uh, fifty-seven thousand feet, where uh, William Shatner is, uh, is, is, and and a bunch of other people are are. There's druids in the on the airplane that's that's terrorizing them. I thought that's where you were going. I think no. you still made a good choice, though. I love that you went with Warlock Two, though. Like, oh, well, Warlock <laughs> Warlock One. I don't. Uh, I mean, it, yeah. I I almost went with Warlock One. Because it's Steve Miner, you know, and it has some boogaloo in it. But, you know, until you get direct to DVD, you don't get true boogaloo sometimes. That's That's true. That's true. Yeah, you get in in a movie two or three before you get the the real, the pure essence, the pure pure boogaloo. Yeah, except for with gutter balls. Um, (laughs) All right, Jack. All right. Well, here it is. uh, Another movie I'm hoping we can find from 1984. Martial arts heroes battle aliens from the astral plane for control of the universe. It's furious. Where's the magic? Uh, I looked it up. It's there. (laughs) That might be one of the modifiers. uh... (laughs) We'll we'll have a clever name. We can't. We can't even find the rabbit. Even if the, the description doesn't say it, but even if the description didn't say it, I would like to repeat. Martial arts heroes battle aliens from the astral plane for control of the universe. <laughs> Maybe they think the astral plane is magic. Uh, I think astral plane. There's there's some magic within some magic creatures within the astral plane. <laughs> it's my understanding. All right. Yeah, well, well, magic, directors. not magic creatures, magic sorcerers or whatever. So movie with two directors. That's a good idea. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it, it is listed as sword and sorcery, magical powers. So uh, yeah, I'm, oh, yeah. IMDb says it's all there. It's all there, dude. All right. <laughs> Do you think I would see you wrong? No. But I, I stuck to a theme. Yes, yes, you did. All yes, right. you did. Very good. Which I usually don't do, but it's going to be so worth it. <laughs> Well, I mean, this this is going to be a crazy season, I think, no question about it. But I'm very happy with a lot of the movies that are chosen. Again, we're a little bit all over, but uh, but there, I know there's going to be some scoring going on. So. Oh, there's going to be some great movies in this, and yeah. and and some fun stuff. Yeah. Yes. All right. This was fun. This was great. I yeah. gotta have a supper. <laughs> Now, yeah, we're, we, it'll be time to watch uh, movies like really soon, so that we can start getting back into uh, yeah. back into the groove. But uh, but yeah, so we we wrapped up season nine. If you show me yours, heading on to season ten. Do you believe in magic? And I do, I do, and I'm excited. So that's really all that matters. Uh, so I, I think we're about done for this season. What do you say we wrap it up and go home and go watch some magical movies? Yeah, because I could start recording this weekend for this. Oh, yeah, yeah, totally. There's sounds no so much fun. When, when, you, when you're going to start with Ninja the Violent Sorcerer, then yeah, I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, ready, within, yeah. I'm ready within 96 minutes. <laughs> yeah. <starting>. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's, let's get going, then. Yeah. All right. For Jim, for Jack, and for Nick. I am your host, 8th Dance Stanadu, and thank you for listening to the Kung Fu Electric Boogaloo! Hey guys, check this out. 
One man team, what the f*** is that about? It's a glitch, there is no BBK. You don't know who or where this person is. You don't just vanish into thin air, it's fucking only on the fucking safe. Oh my god, oh my god. It's safe to say that BBK won this game. Oh BBK and